Tonight at 6, masks will be required in counties under a red level 3 public health emergency. And Montgomery, of course, is one of the seven Ohio counties that are on that list. And here in Southwest Ohio, Butler and Hamilton are on the list as well. Governor DeWine says masks will be required in any indoor setting that is not a home and outdoors where social distancing of six feet is not possible. It will also be required when using a ride share or public transportation. There are some exceptions, including kids under the age of 10 and anyone who cannot wear a mask because of a health condition of some kind. Now today, we're asking public health what this ordinance actually means and how it's going to be enforced. Maybe that's the big question. Two News reporter Deborah Bogart joins us now live with what she has learned. Well, Mark, we're still waiting on the exact wording of the order from the governor's office. But yesterday, Governor DeWine said it would be similar to other health orders. He adds they are not looking to get anyone in legal trouble, but says any violators could face a misdemeanor charge. Governor Mike DeWine's order requiring masks for high risk counties like Montgomery County begins tonight at 6 p.m. He says anyone in a public space should wear a face covering, including outdoor spaces, when social distancing is not possible. DeWine said local health departments will be responsible for enforcing the mandate. A spokesperson for public health, Dayton and Montgomery County, says that might not happen for every complaint. No input from the health department is technically required. Jurisdictions can enforce that as they see fit based upon the, the reading of the order. Violations could result in a misdemeanor penalty, but Cefaletto says that will be a last resort. Generally speaking, the courts can be used to remedy the situation when there's an egregious violation of the order. There are exceptions to the order, including children under 10 years old or if a physician advises against it. Cefaletto says the order is to help community spread of COVID-19 and provide backup for businesses. What this is about is to empower businesses to have the ability to keep not only their employees safe, but their customers safe. This gives the business more of a way to explain to the customers that they would like the customers to wear a mask. DeWine says the mandate will end when counties are no longer a level three risk.